on the Ohio-Indiana border. It seems like nothing more than your typical idyllic Ohio village, except for one weekend in August where it transforms into something else entirely, the Wiffle Ball capital of Ohio. Part of the Wren homecoming celebration for the last 28 years, it has turned into the crown jewel of the weekend, continuing the chance to see old family and friends. It, it's a very huge family affair and friends in the community of Wren. As kids, we grew up and we started this in a, in a backyard. As kids, when we were younger, we always got in trouble in the backyards, hitting balls and hitting them off the houses. So we're like, we need to move this, and that's when it happened. Jack Davis continues what his brother Jamie and others started. The Wiffle Ball Tournament Commissioner, along with others, saw an opportunity to create something for Wren's younger citizens. The game is that there wasn't a lot to do for the 16 and over crowd. And he said, what do you think about having a Wiffle Ball Tournament? And that wiffle ball has been active in the town as long as I've been here, but you know, formalizing it, making it a tournament. Um, you know, and it started with a picket fence, and that actually there were 12 teams the first year, and people were wearing gloves, and it, it, you know, although it was a good thing, it's come a long ways in those 28 years. How far has it come? The tournament has 16 teams, and if you want to get into this tournament, you better show up early. And pretty much whenever the first team gets here, people start talking, and they start coming up quick, but you never really know how fast it will fill. So yeah, if you aren't the first 15 at, at 5 o'clock, pay your, pay your entry fee, you're out of luck. Trevor Roop, former Crestview athlete, was first in line this year for his team, the Long Ballers, with a wait time that might make a Black Friday shopper weak in the knees. About 20, 28 hours with two behind yeah. He's hardly the longest. To participate in this tournament, some have had to wait in line as long as five days. But length of the wait is nothing compared to the lengths that are gone to deliver a top-notch program year after year. We really try hard to keep it as professional as possible. Like, you know, we have official wiffle ball umpires and we play music between every inning. And we, at the championship game, we have a really big production to make it special. Um, at the conclusion of the championship game, we also have a production to, to you know, really acknowledge the championship. Because the game to run. Dave Bowen, who does much of the public address lifting during the tournament, sees himself as the sports information director of it and wants to get the word out on how special of an event it is. See what this tournament's all about because it is really cool and it's really neat. The competitiveness, the pageantry, just to promote the tournament because of all the hard work that people put into it, it's neat for them to be recognized for that. Besides Roop, other players, like fellow Crestview athlete Spencer Rolston, have always been around it and have always wanted to participate. My dad played way back when and I just, I've always been around it and I just really enjoyed watching it and, and growing up through it, it's it's really been a goal of mine to play and, and just, I enjoy it, I love baseball, so this is just a faster paced baseball game, I guess. The competition of the tournament also draws people in from all over the area. Just like high school, you got different schools that com competed with each other and now all these kids come to Wren and compete against each other again. And now you're getting outsiders from Wren that are coming to the community to play in this. So what makes a wiffle ball tournament started in a backyard and continued in a makeshift replica Major League Baseball field that's completely set up and taken down in a matter of days, going, family, identity, and legacy. When I was in high school, I tried to be the best guy I could be. You know, because you never know who's watching. Dad's always said, you got to be careful because people that you know, they're watching you all the time and you don't even know it. So um, trying to relay that into, into Ren days and, and showing these kids like um, that they got to be the best that they can be and be respectful and all that, it's just it's cool. It also brings people, I guess, true to the, the name of the, the festival, the homecoming of that. Um, whether it's on the player side, it's that dad played and I did, or it's that I come and meet friends and family and we, we get a chance to catch up with things that we haven't done in the past. We're the ones that started it and I, it means more to me that I don't want this to end. So it's just keeping it alive and making these younger kids understand why we're doing this and why we started it. So that just means a lot. I don't want to see it fall.